I've always talked about the importance of sun protection, not only in the prevention of skin cancers, but also of photoaging. I emphasize proper use of sunscreens using a broad spectrum one with SPF of at least 30, applying the right amount and reapplying every two to three hours when outdoors or after sweating or swimming. But what about when we are indoors? Either in a well-ventilated space or in an air-conditioned room, for example, where you barely sweat. What happens to sunscreens then? Do we really need to reapply still every two to three hours? Before we dive into that, to those of you who are watching me for the first time, I am Dr. Aguirre Redovitas and I'm a board-certified dermatologist. I try to post one video a week all about the skin and skincare, and you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram as at Irene Gale. So if you're into this kind of content, I invite you please to click the like and subscribe. I am an advocate of sun protection and sunscreen use. I've made, if I'm not mistaken, four videos about sunscreen already in the past where I talk more about how to choose one for your skin type, how to properly apply them, etc. Today, we are going to answer the question, do I really need to reapply sunscreen every two to three hours when I'm indoors? Let me share with you the findings of a research done in Thailand, published last August 2019, with the objective of investigating how much of the sunscreen remains on the skin throughout a normal 8-hour workday indoors if applied only once in the morning. Their study included 20 volunteers who work indoors who applied 1 gram of sunscreen all over their faces at 8 in the morning and then photographs taken every 2 hours until 4 p.m. using the Canfield Visha UV mode. Their results showed that the amount of sunscreen decreased at an average of 16.3% after 2 hours, which then gradually decreased after that, ending with an average reduction of 28.2% by the end of their 8-hour workday. They concluded that for indoor workers who apply enough amount of sunscreen in the morning, reapplication in the middle of the day may be unnecessary. I wanted to see this for myself, so I replicated the study by applying sunscreen all over my face at the start of my day and by taking photos after 3 and 6 hours using the same camera they used in the study, the Canfield Visha UV mode. It showed how much of the sunscreen is removed after 3 hours and how much is left at the end of my normal workday, which is approximately 6 hours after. First, I'm going to show you how my face looks using the UV mode with and without sunscreen. So the area where the sunscreen is black because it blocks UV. And the other side shows you my face without sunscreen and my UV spots from my early years of not applying sunscreen. The next photo is one that I took after applying an adequate amount of sunscreen all over my face taken at 10.55 a.m. Then here's another one taken at 1.53 p.m., almost three hours after applying sunscreen for the first time. I wore a KN95 mask that day inside the clinic, and the area where the mask rubs against and touches my skin, the nose bridge and the cheeks are where you see most of the sunscreen come off. The other areas are still pretty much adequately covered. Then finally, the last photo taken at 4.42 p.m., almost six hours after. The amount of sunscreen decreased even more, but there is still much left on the skin except on the areas in contact with the mask. Now, let's put all three photos side by side. In the Thailand study, the amount of sunscreen had a mean peak reduction of 16.3% after 2 hours. 23.7% after 4 hours, and 28.2% after 8 hours. They correlated the sharp decrease in the amount of sunscreen on the skin in the first 2-3 to three hours to the movement of the product into our pores and follicular openings in addition to sweat and sebum production. Their findings and mine suggest that reapplication of sunscreen when indoors may not be necessary. And in my experience, Wearing masks and protective clothing doesn't stop sunscreens from wearing off and in fact even cause it to be removed from my face. But if you want to reapply sunscreen when you're indoors, then by all means go ahead. 
So I hope this video answers our question regarding the use of sunscreen by individuals working indoors and if reapplication is indeed necessary. The Thai dermatologists actually did a similar study on individuals working outdoors and maybe I'll talk about it in another video. So that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot. Please feel free to comment, ask questions, or give suggestions. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!